In those few haunting moments captured on a cell phone, the attacker accomplished something he'd tried to do before. Two bullets to the head to kill a cop before he was shot himself. The thing about 39-year-old Karim Shurfi is that he'd already served prison time for a previous attempt. Even more astonishing was that earlier this year he was in the police's hands for threats against the police, but he was let go. Today, police were in his home to guess at the motive behind such determined hate. All the way through his imprisonment, which lasted about 14 years, he did not show any signs of radicalization, says Paris prosecutor François Molin. And yet, at the scene, police found a note hinting at a link to ISIS. The victim was 37-year-old Xavier Jujulet, a long-time policeman and a gay rights activist. In the last day of campaigning today, the questions were as much about why Cherfi wanted so badly to kill as about how he escaped police attention. This far-left candidate, Philippe Poutou, said, discrimination and state-level racism can play a role in the kind of violence France sees, that imprisonment can also lead to radicalization. There is a society of inequality, of injustice, and that produces violence violence, he says. Some of the other leading candidates were accused of exploiting the attack for a final barrage of security-minded messages. Je lui demande solennellement. I will ask for the restoration of our borders, says Marine Le Pen, leader of the far-right Front National Party. She promised to revoke the citizenship of dual nationals who are extremists. Un danger grave et imminent. A final pre-election poll suggested only her party slightly gained support since the attack. The first round of France's election is Sunday. But it proceeds under tight security and a cloud of unease. Nala Yed, CBC News, Paris.